Hey, thank you for joining me for this video cast. I uh, wanted to tell you uh, about uh, this congregation. And uh, this congregation uh, is one that has really struggled. Uh, they uh, lost a lot of folks and they had uh, uh, people uh, take their property from them in a recent uh, fight. But that's not why I have hope. I have hope because what's clear to me as I visit with these congregants is that they believe in the future of the church, the Episcopal church. They believe uh, that their ministry can continue. They have continued to support an orphanage in Africa. They continue to support a school that's connected to them. They have continued to do their and undertake their own ministry. And I am grateful. I'm grateful for all those who've gathered around them and supported them as they do this. But I'm grateful for them for showing us that no matter how bad things can be, ministry continues uh, to those who most uh, need it. And I am so, so uh, hopeful because when you see people who've been through uh, just tragic events as they have, who continue to do good in the world around them, uh, that gives me hope and that gives me hope in the Episcopal Church. So I want to invite you this week uh, to find somebody that's doing amazing work. It doesn't have to be an Episcopalian, but if it's an Episcopalian, that's great. I want you to tap them on the shoulder and tell them that you see hope in the ministry that they're undertaking and you're grateful for that sign of hope. Thanks for joining me. 